Yeah, we've downsized the afternoon shift, so we don't need to do any overtime. You want me to hack into Helga? One of the nurses put you up to it. It was Nicole, wasn't it? And here she is. a moment's hesitation or did she just blurt it straight out so you admit to sabotaging hospital property yes and you were ready to let someone else take the blame for that i was coming to tell you well it's a bit late you should have put your hand up when i talked to the nurses i'm here now aren't i give me one good reason why you shouldn't join daniel potts in the doll queue i had no idea that he was actually going to hack the computer i thought we were joking so what did you pay him with play money i feel like i should be calling my lawyer an employment lawyer. Good idea. Please don't fire her. Shut up, Maya. She's a great nurse. Great nurses don't have a string of official warnings next to their name. Actually, some of them do. You want someone gutless with a spotless track record? Fine, we'll hire some babies fresh from nursing school. We'll need about three of them to do the work that Nicole does. Of course we don't want to lose you, but this is a serious offence. I'm suspending you pending an investigation. No, please, I'll do anything not to have that on my record. I'll do the graveyard shift for the next year or whatever. Right now, I feel like you're a risk to have around. I'll take some time out to reflect on the error of my ways. Please, I love my job okay. and I... Two weeks. Without pay, of course. That's a bit severe. I said shut up. Thank you. Clinic space right next door to each other and I never see you. Next time I want to have a word, I'll know where to come. You're getting lonely down there? No, no, I've got patience to keep me busy. When do you think we might start to hear your drill buzzing away? Uh, it should be set up by next week. I suppose you'll be wanting to get some punters through the door as soon as possible, what with the bills rolling in. The power bill was a bit of a shock. And then there's the rent, of course. We really do need to get on top of that. Gotcha. And your share didn't come through last week. Ah. Is there a problem? No, no, I just forgot, that's all. Sorry. Well, maybe you should set up a direct debit. That's how I pay mine. I'll have it for you by Monday. How's that? Tomorrow would be better. I had to cover you out of my own pocket. I'll do my best. Well, that's all I can hope for, isn't it? <laughs> Where's Nicole? Uh, she's not coming. She uh, said she wasn't into it. What? She was the one who was all gung-ho about getting a team together. Hot when we finally try and organise some training. She doesn't bother to show. Well, I got the feeling netball was off the agenda. Don't ask me why. Typical. She's probably decided she likes hockey this week. You think she's bi-sporty as well as bisexual? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't got a lot of time, guys. Sorry. And neither has the team. First game's with Central, and we know they'll be practising for weeks. So how you place tonight around 7? Sorry, mate. Late finish. Uh, you're excused. I've scheduled in tomorrow lunchtime and a couple of sessions next week, so just let me know which ones you can do. I'd like to check. I'll be there for the game, though. Sweet. What about you? Mm, tonight's good. Next week, not so good. Why? Ben's funeral. I'll, I'll be down south. Of course. Sorry. Um, will you be back for the game? She's got a better excuse than Nicole. It's not just I don't want to play anymore. Yes, I know that, but the way we're going, we're not going to have a team. Central's going to win by default. Hi. Hello. Do you want one? I know, thanks. I've got to go get JJ in a minute. I hope you're not expecting me to babysit tonight. I've made plans. He's staying the night at Mum's. Good. For the record, I didn't dob you into Rachel. She guessed. She just worked it out on her own. As if. You must have said something. I was trying to convince her that cancelling leave for everyone was unfair, especially for Tanya right now. And when I told her Tanya had nothing to do with it, she realised I knew who did. You were so busy sticking up for your sister that you dumped me right in it. You could have waited. Waited for what? For me to tell Rachel myself. I was going to. She probably would have been a bit easier on me if I had. So, Rachel worked you over, but did you have to cave? I mean, did you even try denying that I was the naughty saboteur? Of course you didn't. What's your problem? Guilt by association? Are you so screwed up about your own stuff that you have to confess to other people's sins as well now? 
I'm sorry. Ignore me. I'm in a foul mood. And it's all my fault. I get that. It's not true, but hey, you have to blame someone. Can't be you, right? You're completely innocent. I stuffed up my I don't need talent. Yeah, and you got what you deserve, so don't take it out on me. How could you do that? Knock on your own girlfriend. <gasps> I didn't knock on... I never do that to you. Never. You should be glad that I was there to put in a good word. I probably saved you from being fired. Oh, wonderful. Now you want thanks. I only came home to get my netball gear. Are you coming to practice? Why would I? I don't work at Shorten Street, remember? You can still play on... I told you. I've made plans. It's all right for some, isn't it? They spend more time in here than they do across the road. Mm. Isaac was in there this morning, too. Ears glued to his laptop. Of course, in the old days, it would have been a transistor radio. The race, I forgot. Yeah, that'd be right. Because you got better ways of making money out that horse, haven't you? How do we do? First again. Hey, uh, message from Isaac. You've made him a very happy man. Happy enough to pay for his coffee. Oh, he had to race back to work. For my table. Wouldn't that get away with that too often if I was here? No, I think he's good for it, don't you? You must I'm a feel whack by now the way that horse of yours is running. Not they'll ever see, of course. How can I pay him back when you've stung me for every last cent I've got? You can tell him the truth. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry I had to call it quit so early. I still have to pack for tomorrow. Uh, time you go? First thing. You and your mum? Yep. Same flight, same row of seats. You know, six months ago, if someone had said to me I'd be going anywhere with mum, I probably would have snapped at them. If they had said that it'd be Ben's funeral, I would have... I don't know what I would have done. Mm. Pulled my head in sooner, probably. You're not going to? I wish I could, but it won't work. Besides, Mum's got all the support she needs right here. Mm. You give him my love. I will. Oh, woofy. <laughs> hey, good practice then, I take it? Yeah, not bad for only three of us. I'll work on Nicole for next week. I wouldn't count on her, though. Have you lost a player? More than one. Hang on, why wasn't your name down for this, huh? I know you used to play, I heard you tell me people. Yeah, it used to be pretty hot too. Oh, right. <laughs> We're not cool enough for you. No, of course not. Why well, didn't you signed up then? We're screaming out for people. You want to know the real reason? Please? It's this phase I'm going through. I kind of like spending time with my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, long walks <laughs> in the park, that sort of thing. Moshi, I know, but I don't care. It's hard enough with shift work as it is. I don't want to spend half my nights not seeing him. There's mm. an easy enough solution. Sign Scotty up too. Mm. Yeah, why not? He's got the fitness for it. Oh, I, did, I don't know. Scotty, is that a sports gear you got in there? Yeah, I played squash at lunchtime. Squash? Ah, why don't you play a real man's sport like netball? <laughs> um, what are you doing tomorrow lunchtime? I don't know. Sweet, see you both at practice then. So have you told Sarah about your little investment yet? Mm, no way. Well, she's going to find out sooner or later. Maybe it's time to make an honest man out of yourself. Hey? Sell the shares in point taken to me. You? Yeah, I found some spare cash. Well, I do it. Well, I know a good thing when I see it. Yes, me too, my friend, and I'm not ready to bail yet. How about 30 grand? That must have changed your mind. Add another 10 grand and I'll start thinking about it. I can't go that high. Sorry, no sale. 